All right, are you ready to learn a balloon lion? I like the lion. Now, I learned something crazy about the lion. After a year of knowing how to make the lion when I was young, I had been telling people that I couldn't make a cat. And then one day I realized a lion's a big cat. So I'm teaching you a lion and a cat. So the lion needs a series of bubbles. Now I recommend that you watch this before you actually start doing it yourself. But since it's on video, do it at your speed. Feel free to rewind. So, first, inflate your balloon about this far. We've got a lot of bubbles to twist, so you'll wanna leave a pretty good tail on the end. Now remember, if you're still having trouble inflating, don't be afraid to get help from a friend or a family member who might have an easier time, and then just keep practicing because you will get it down. Now, if you haven't practiced a series of bubbles yet, you'll want to watch closely, and this may take a little while to get the hang of, but we're going to start with a series of bubbles. With a series of bubbles, a few things that are important to remember. One, we always start twisting our balloon at this end with the knot so that the air has all the space to squish into. And two, when you're twisting a series of bubbles, you've got to always twist the same way on the balloon, otherwise you'll accidentally undo your work and it gets very frustrating, so don't do that. We're gonna make a series now. We're gonna do one, two, and you'll see how this one is kind of a medium bubble. And this one is a pretty small bubble. That's gonna end up being the nose. Then three, I'm doing a slightly bigger bubble than this small one, but you could make them about the same and that would be okay. Then I'm gonna do a medium bubble that's gonna be the side of the face, a small bubble that's gonna end up being an ear, another medium bubble that's gonna be the top of the head, another small bubble that's going to be another ear. I know it's intimidating, but we're almost there. One more medium bubble, and that's going to be the other side of the head. Wow, what a series of bubbles. Now, that may be intimidating at first. It'll take some practice. But remember, the whole series of bubbles, always twist away from yourself. Well, I like to twist away. Always twist the same direction, and you'll make a series of Medium, small, small, medium, small, medium, small, medium. Now, if you're not good at twisting a series of bubbles, you'll wanna practice that before you do this too long because this is a lot of bubbles. Very doable, but you may need some practice because this is a series of three, four, five, six, seven, eight bubbles. So, if you've got this down, Give yourself a hand, because it's gonna take a little bit of practice. Now, I'm gonna twist the groove after my third bubble to the groove after my eighth bubble, just like this. Twist them around three full turns, lock it in, and notice I'm still holding the nose here, because right now if I let the nose go, it's going to untwist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish the nose in between the other three bubbles here, the little triangle that I just made. I'm gonna twist the nose in, squish the nose in right there. Now this next part is really cool. This is something called an ear twist. To make the ear twist, you're gonna grab this little small bubble on the side of the head. I'm gonna grab this one so I can show you more easily. It helps if I kind of pull out from the balloon just a little bit as I do this. And I'm gonna grab it. Now I'm gonna twist it around about three times is usually a good number. And you see when I do that, it makes a little bit of an ear. Look at that. We basically got the same ear going on. Then I'm gonna do that to the other side as well. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. I'm gonna twist it around three full turns. And then I have got myself a lion face. Now I wanna tell you a secret. If I turn that around, it's more of a bear face. So you really just learned a lion and the bear face. But since I'm making a lion, I'm gonna tuck this right here away, just like so. 
Now we need legs and we can do our legs just like we would do a dog's legs. So we're gonna leave a neck. I'm gonna do the fancier dog's legs, so I'm gonna do a foot bubble, foot bubble, maybe just a little longer than the medium length bubbles on the head, but it's okay if they're the same size. Just do your best and have fun with it. And we're gonna twist the groove after the neck bubble to the groove after that last bubble. Twist them together. Make sure the feet are down and the head is up and forward and we are almost there with our lion. Now we're gonna leave a belly. I'm gonna make my belly about this long looking at how much balloon I've got left, like so. Then I'm gonna twist the back foot bubble. And I got just enough left for another back foot bubble. You may have more balloon, which is great. I'm gonna twist those together just like so. And then I have got myself a quick single balloon lion. What do you think? Let me hear your best lion roar. Roar! Roar! Meow! Oh wait, that was more of a purr. Good try, good try. So, do you wanna see that again from beginning to end? I'll go all the way back through it. So, we inflate our balloon and tie it off. Don't be afraid to get help with any part of this. Medium, small, small. Twisting our series. Medium, we're going for eight total. Small, medium, small, medium. We've got our series of eight bubbles. Then we twist our groove after the third to the groove after the last, just like so. Now, before we let our tail go, remember what we do. We tuck it in between the others. Ear twist, one ear. Ear twist, that other ear. And then we've got a lion face on one side or if we wanted a bear face on the other, but I'm gonna tuck this nozzle away because I don't want a bear face. I'm just gonna pull it around where the neck bubble is there. There we go. Now we need our feet, so just like a dog, we leave a neck. Medium bubble, medium bubble, and we twist them together. Then we leave a belly, medium bubble, medium bubble and we twist them together and you have got yourself one balloon lion good job great job in fact hold it up let me see what you've done all right i love it hey that's it's okay that you're not done yet keep working on it Keep practicing it, and you're going to get the hang of it, I promise. Just don't give up. The lion's a little trickier than some of the ones we made, but it is a fun one that you're going to love being able to make. Thanks for coming to today's lesson. Take care. Don't be afraid to rewind and keep practicing. You are doing an amazing job. Keep after it, young twisters. You amaze me every time.